Welcome back to a week in the life of this is all the bits that sell on eBay and maybe if anything comes through the door I'll let you know what it is as well. This is yeah uh, this is what I do part-time in between my normal nine to five job. It is currently Saturday afternoon just got back from yet another kids party because it is birthday season for uh, children of my child's age so it's yeah weekends are a bit manic hence why on Saturday I'm picking orders getting packaged up and ready to go. We have a couple of games and other bits as well. So without further ado, let's go have a look and see what's sold. Not even put them away yet. This is from last week. Sold cars for 19 99 all in. So this was part of a £10 bundle and that was pretty much the whole of the bundle. So yeah, not bad returns really. Now on to Xbox 360 games, which should be in alphabetical order. We are looking for Risen 2 which has sold for 4 99 all in. Uh, Rage, there we go, Risen 2, 4 99 all in. Okay, same stack. We're looking for Resident Evil. I can't see it. That's not looking at the wrong bit. Uh, where is it? Mystery, Resident Evil. This sold for 12 99 ah. All in. Which is what it was um, whenever that was uh, put on there. Well, uh, from two weeks ago, Stinger sold for fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. Um, although some some moron uh, put the wrong picture as the first item. I know there was an issue uploading, and the original picture got it didn't upload for some bizarre reason. And I put <laughs> I, I put the one of, of Randy Savage on for some bizarre reason but i've messaged the buyer saying look this is the item this is the front of the actual item because all the other pictures are of this but not from the front facing view which is really bloody annoying so i've sent my message saying look please confirm this is what you want and then i'll get it dispatched if he says yes you're seeing this if he doesn't say anything i've cancelled the order but this was 14.99 plus shipping a little bit of a dud we have sold uh chronicles of narnia that one Fourteen ninety nine plus shipping. It's a it's a big old boy. It's quite heavy. So I've I think I've allowed UPS next day off the top of my head. But yeah, just be warned. They're not worth a great amount of money. At least this particular set, uh, and it will cost you potentially a few quid to send if you don't add the postage. We have sold this ginormous XXL Arsenal jacket for ninety nine ninety nine. All in. It's in very, very good condition. It looks pretty damn warm as well, which is probably why it's sold. We have also sold... Sorry, so freaking cold. Um, we've sold Sonic Boom Monopoly for 49 99 All in. Lovely jubbly. And I'm hoping it's in this one. Otherwise, this is going to be a pain in the bum. Um, why is there a massive Van Helsing thing in the way? There they are. Ah, back here, there it is. Some of those are sold, I think it's the first grandma one I've sold in ages. 9 99 all in, owes me one or two pounds from when Toys R Us closed down. We are almost at the end of Sunday, thank God. We have sold this Sailors EP210 for 29 99 free shipping, going via the GSP to Ireland, I think. Owes me a three four five pounds maybe and the last sale more than likely the last sale is conundrum 18.99 all in uh i've sold two of these now i've only been listing them one at a time so i might add three or four to the quantity now um just to try and get some more sales in because this is going to be a christmas present to be honest let's let's be honest that is going to be a stocking filler that's going to be used once and then taken to the charity shop and i think it owes me less than a quid it's Monday morning and that's my stack. I think that's well over 500 quid going out. So um, it's going to take me a little while to load up the van. As you might be able to tell, it's snowing. It is Monday and I've not had anything collectible come through the door in quite a while. I'll be going through this at the end of the video. I purchased it today. Uh, and just to give you a sneak peek, there is a couple of holofoils. I don't know the exact condition yet. I bought the binder as a whole, um, so I want to get everything out, go through everything properly, and really see the condition of these cards. So as I said, that'll be at the very end of the video, and I'll be going through it slowly, 
and yeah, just so just be be warned. If it's like a three hour long video, most of it is going to be this at the end. And now back to reality for now. We have sold a Sylvanian family's hamburger restaurant for twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, going via USP to the states on the three DS. Mario and Luigi. Luigi, <laughs> what is going on with me today? Mario and Luigi Paper Jam Bros sold for nineteen ninety nine. Free shipping via GSP to Denmark. No, sorry, Norway. Norway. Yeah, owes me about four quid. Over to the stack of Wii's. We have sold Mario Kart. Where's Mario Kart gone? There it is, right there in front of me. Do you want to know how much I just got for this? Bear in mind, look, it's all there. It's bloody minty inside, right? Hang on. Do you want to see my ugly mug? There you go, look. Disc is all right as well. $24.99, all in, for Mario Kart. I bloody love Christmas. It's been a while, but we've sold another playmat. This one is Eurobrask, uh, $11.99 plus shipping. It is Tuesday morning. The stacks are small, um, but yeah, to be fair, we had a very, very good weekend. Royal Mail, Royal Mail, Royal Mail, Hermes. It is Tuesday afternoon, and we have sold this uh, Morpha from 2005, I think. Yeah, 2005 for 9.99 plus shipping owes me a couple of quid from a few weeks back another purchase from not too long ago we have sold this brick alarm clock lego obviously 14.99 plus shipping it is wednesday and that's my pathetic stack however um yesterday was quite busy like overnight uh, there was another set of lego which sold like only like 10 12 pound one pair of jeans um a board game which I listed last night by Electronic Board. No, a board game. Um, it was a pound more than the other person who had one listed. And it's it sold within like five hours. Uh, PS4, three, PS3. Um, so I have a few hundred quid uh, ready to be packaged up when I get back from work. Fun times. Hello everyone, it is still Wednesday, just to let you know the uh, the Pokemon cards that I picked up uh, this week, instead of it doing a, like a, an in-depth video, uh, I'm going to flick through them at the end, but we'll do a separate dedicated video actually going through and taking out every single card, because obviously it's going to be multiples, we're looking for uh, fourth print, uh, shadowless, first edition shadowless, etc, etc, so um, We'll do that as a completely separate video, 100% and totally for the ad revenue because it has the potential to go viral. So I hope everyone understands. Um, but yeah, literally just gone to go and see one of the workers to drop off some Hoover attachments. Uh, now to go and fill up with diesel. Uh, I've got a post office run to do. I've got several jobs to go and do. And it's not freezing cold. So overall, even though it's only two minutes to eight in the morning, it's been somewhat of a good day thus far. So I've uh, just nipped back for lunch and there's seven orders ready to go out. So I'm going to do what I can um, until I go back out again. So the one item I'm doing now, I'm going to run around and grab the others and then I'll probably catch up with you, uh, hopefully after work. And there'll be a few more orders to add. Revolution board game from 2009 it is a first print. I don't even know if they did anymore after that, to be fair. Uh, part of the board game bundle from a couple of weeks back, where I paid, I think it, this was the three for £10, maybe? Uh, this was £39.99 plus shipping. Bearing in mind, I've done signed for shipping at £4.20. The other guy, so there's only two of these on eBay, and the other guy was charging a quid less. And mine sold within four hours. Brilliant. I don't know why I just fist bumped the board game. Actually... Let's have a look at the uh, Pokemon cards in a little bit more detail, but not enough. So there will be, as I say, a separate video for this later. But we've got a Gyarados, a Polyrath, a Blastoise, Venusaur, Nidoking, Magneton, Mewtwo, Alakazam, Raichu, Machamp, uh, Hitmonchan, Nine Tails. So I'm looking for fourth prints, which I don't think there is any. Vaporeon, Kangaskhan, Jolteon. The like three pages of just hollows is just fantastic. Pre-release Aerodactyl, 
uh, Hornser. So, as I said, there'll be a separate video of this, but I'm going to take every single card out, and we're going to see whether it's potentially gradable, etc., etc. Some nice non hollows Pikachu promo number one, two, eight, three, five. Pre release Gyarados. Promo Mew number nine. I do love that artwork. But you can see, look at the back of these cards. This is doubled up. So that I admit that's only a trainer. But look at the back. They Some of them are absolutely mint. So we may be very, very lucky. Uh, and these appear to be in no particular order because we've got a, a rare Lapras there. A rare Vaporeon. A rare Vileplume. Venomoth. Oh. No. For a moment, I thought they're, they're like... They're in some weird order. They're, they're in some very weird order. Victory Belt, that's a rare. Scyther, I've got a PSA 10, a Holofoil version of that in first edition as well. Uh, Pinsir, that's another rare. Ditto, another rare. Pidgeot, that's another rare. Um, you can see there's like there's several Eevees in there by the looks of it. Uh, see, another Holofoil, there's an Electrode there. Raichu non holo, Mr. Mime non holo, Haunter non holo, Dark Hypno. Oh, I'd love uh, Dark Alakazam. I love Team Rocket set. Absolutely love the Team Rocket set. Uh, then I think they're all uncommons and commons. Then we've got tops. Now there's different types of tops cards. There's tops and tops chrome. These are all tops, uh, but they are holo foil. But I do have several complete sets of these, and they look amazing in a, a proper binder. Vulpix, Abra. But again, is this just doubled up? That's a Clefairy on the back. What's in that? Polyrath, non hollows. Behind. I mean, I wouldn't class these. These are so hard to keep in mint condition. Actually, not that bad. Anything after decks number 77, which is. Gollum, I think, um, are slightly hard to get, to get hold of. But they're wicked. They're very, very nice. Again, there's no real order to them. And we've got a... What is that? Game Facts. Oh, that's quite cool. They've got some badges in there as well. There is one, two, three, f five. We're missing a badge. That's a shame. Some more tops. We've got Cloister. Which again, that's, so that's is that a Holofoy one? I think it is. So relatively uncommon. And uh, see that's stacked full. Rapidash. Then at the back we've got more rares: Electabuzz, Jinx, Lass, Dragonair, Pokemon Trader. Um, Pokemon Breed. That's another rare. So, as I say, I'll go through this at a later date and it'll be its own separate video. And we're going to take every single card out, sleeve what's required, and, yeah, just have a proper look. Now, this is cool. I don't think I've ever owned this. But how wicked is that? We have, they're in a very strange order again. Uh, so, someone got excited and had a little, of a, little bit of a play. But we have a Meganium, Typhlosion, and a... For alligator. It's just wicked. Absolutely wicked. Uh, and Japanese cards tend to be in better condition than, than uh, English. So, I mean, that's well off top to bottom. But, uh, still want to get it graded. My PSA bloody selection is huge right now. But there we go. That's all of the Pokemon stuff. And as I say, for the third time in this little section, there will be a separate video for it all coming up hey more lego nine pound all in owes me one pound we've sold a playstation 3 for 70 pounds all in that is the back you can't quite see the barcode but it gives me something to work off of and that sticker there we go they got one with a sticker on it and then the uh, serial number for the machine itself is on the back and it's that one there right let's get it packaged up another Wario Wear Gold, $14.99, all in. We've also sold some jeans for 
Uh, $39.99 plus shipping. These cost me £12 or so. Uh, brand new with tags. Lovely. Sold another Fallout Nuka Cola key ring for $5.99, including free delivery. It cost me 96 pence as a stamp and it cost me £1 as an item. It is Thursday morning. That's the stacks. Um, the PS4 actually went out yesterday because Hermes is like down the road. And I don't actually normally use Hermes, but uh, the buyer was in Northern Ireland, so I didn't really have a choice. So I dispatched it way earlier than what I needed it to be because the delivery time is a little bit longer. But yeah, caught my daughter's cold. So from a haul a little while ago, 15 pounds I've now sold this, uh, plus signed for shipping. Sold it for the second time, the first time round, I got the images mixed up and I actually put Randy Savage as the front image. But now we have sold him as Sting. I sold another Hero Factory for £9, all in, owes me a pound. Friday morning stacks and um, eBay is very quiet. It is Friday afternoon and we have sold this little beanie of animal for £20. I think it was plus shipping as well. Probably owes me about a pound or two. On the Atari ST we have sold Golden Axe for £24.99 plus shipping. Staying in the UK as well. That's a rarity. These sorts of things tend to go out of the country all the bloody time. Sold another Hero Factory for £9 all in. Cost me a quid. Really exciting stuff. We have a delivery of plain t-shirts. And just like that, the week is done and dusted. It is actually Saturday morning uh, at the time I'm be doing this because I kind of forgot to do it yesterday. Uh, but I did do a lot of listing um, over the last two days. I think I did about 35 items, which will hopefully help stimulate the algorithm. Um, spoiler alert for the start of the uh, the next week in the life of, I've done 258 quid so far and it's only quarter past eight in the morning. So um, that's going to be fun. Uh, so just a quick one for those of you who may have um, have children. Uh, there is a thing of Build-A-Bear um, in the month of their birthday you can go and get a Build-A-Bear uh, of a specific type for the cost of their age. So with our little and being two years old, we pay two quid, which is, I think it's what everyone in our NCT group has done. So we're just taking it in turns to go to Milton Keynes, go to Build-A-Bear and do everything else. Um, so it's the fourth, isn't it? So we're going from uh, the third to the Saturday before, which is the 27th. Um, and our seven day total for that period uh, was £943.13, uh, which isn't bad at all, to be fair. Only sold 29 items, average sale price of £2.52. I'm not going to be doing that on every single one. Uh, our highest category was clothing, shoes and accessories, followed by video games. Uh, so clothing, shoes and accessories was 270 quid. Video games uh, and consoles was 113 Toys and games was 95. Toys and games, again, but in a different section, uh, was 90. Video games and consoles, 70. So yeah, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Can't complain. Uh, so there's already 216 pounds processing from this morning, which is fantastic. There is a cancellation of one order already, but the guy has already ordered two other items. So I presume he just didn't need that extra one. So, yeah, I am now going to round it off because I've got to go to B&Q before we go out. That is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you lovely lot uh, next week. Au revoir. No, tomorrow.